assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for staying tuned so today we are making this gorgeous dress that i had an order for and i know i know that you guys will love this dress and i just had to record the process for you it's a bit tricky honestly but if you watch what i'm doing you'll learn okay uh yes so to start off as always you know i start with the lower part of the dress uh, that is the flare part of the um dress so now i'm just measuring the length required and i'm starting my measurements from 16 which is the half length of a dress from 16 to her full length which is 55 that's what i just measured then i'm adding one inch sewing allowance oh sorry i added her round waist divided by four which is 7.5 then i'm going to add four inches you can add four or three inches because of the ruffles in front of the dress that's why we added that four or um three inches so for me i added four and then whatever you get you are going to fold okay you are get you are going to get two of that i hope you get me just the normal <laughs> 180 degree circle and that's what i'm doing i just laid it down on the floor and this is what you are going to have when you do your so i'm going to repeat that measurement that i said because i felt like okay i didn't repeat it i'm sorry about that <laughs> but i think it's just easy to like grab and then i'm placing her round waist divided by four which is 7.5 then i added the one inch sewing allowance then i'm going to add that four inches that we added because there are there are some you know mm, there's some pleating in front so i'm going to be using that to make a cycle just the normal way when you're making a flesh um skirt and then i'm going to cut it off okay pretty simple right and then next thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure the length of the skirt all round this is the normal process maybe i should start cutting off this process i'm going to continue doing that all round have you subscribed to my channel and i'm seeing we are having a lot of new subscribers welcome 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 okay i hope you are finding all the content up to your standards <laughs> so after um you know marking out the flare i'm just cutting it out now and also please tell me guys should i start a beginner series beginner on dressmaking tell me please in the comment section uh yeah so i'm just showing you how what it will look like after you're done cutting and this is it so you see it's pretty wide right yeah so i'm just showing that you're going to have a lot of space or a lot of fabric and you're going to use that for do uh, for the pleating in the front okay so that's what i'm showing you can you see and of course along the video you see more so this is for the back of the dress i have 16.5 inches of length here i'm just marking out one inch for zipper allowance then her shoulder i'm using eight inches for her shoulder i'm going down by one inch for the shoulder slant then i'm marking out her armhole seven inches i'm marking out the half of the armhole and i'm going in by half an inch for the armhole curve yeah i just marked out the one inch zipper allowance again and then her round bust is 35 35 um divided by four it's i think almost nine yeah so i'm just going to mark that out then i'm going to add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance then i'm connecting the armhole to the bust area yes you can use your french cuff for this i'm just used to using my free hand uh so that's why i always use my hand then for the lower part is the same thing i'm just going to mark at that one inch for zipper then i'm adding her round waist divided by 47.5 then i added 1.5 inches so in allowance i did not add a dart for the back okay even for the front i did not add a dart yes so i'm just cutting it out 
and for the width of the neckline it's four inches for the depth is 2.5 and i'm just covering it out then i'm going to cut it off okay and then here we have the fabric for the front part of the dress i just marked at her shoulder which is eight inches that i went down by one inch for the shoulder slant and here i'm marking at her armhole which is seven inches yes and then i just coughed at the armhole i'm going to put in her round bust measurement which is at five divided by four then i'm adding 1.5 inches for sewing allowance yeah then for the width of the neckline it's four inches i'm just marking it out and for the depth i believe i used three inches yes it's three and i'm going to you know cover it out you can use a french cuff for this too then i'm marking at my shoulder slant yes so her shoulder to bust point is 10 to under bust is 14 okay so you see i the fabric that i cut at is not enough so i'm going to get under fabric to cut it so this is the other fabric that i got and i did the same thing to it you know the measurements i just inputted them <coughs> into this fabric now so the measurements that you use for the round bust you are going to leave it as you can see i did not put in a new measurement for the under bust right and the length of this is 15 inches okay it's 15 inches because we want as if you saw the first clip you know that um there's like a belt right at her under bust to waist right so you see this is 15 inches so that by the time we sew it up it will become 14 inches that's from her shoulder to her under bust okay and you see it's the same width with the same measurement for the round bust the same measurement for the under bust okay now the reason why it's the same width is so that you can make a little bit of pleating on the belt of the under bust to waist i will show you guys what i mean um in a few seconds now you'll see here i'm just cutting out um everything that we had marked up have you subscribed i hope you have subscribed <laughs> i hope you have subscribed because check out the content okay i'm giving you guys back to back premium content okay so you see we are going to make a little bit of um pleating and this is the belt from her under bust 14 to her waist which is 16 can you see and for this um her round waist divided by two right is for is sorry 15 then i added one and a half inch sewing allowance so that is what we have for the belt so now i'm just showing you guys um how it's going to look like you're just going to make a little bit of um what is it called a little bit of pleating and that pleating will serve a little bit as a dart like it to you know snatch up her under bust to her waist okay and here i'm just cutting out a lining for the neckline yes i i really like it when i cut out a lining for the necklines and i stitch them up and i applied um hemming gum i i like it when it looks like that honestly and then these are the sleeves that i decided to go with i don't know why i didn't record it and then now for the those that little ruffle or flounce that you see on the front of the dress right if you have seen the clip the first clip and um the picture on the video i'm sure you know what i'm talking about so this is how i made it you just use your paper pattern paper i just made a round or a cycle can you see then i'm going to measure four inches from the end of the paper i'm going to mark out this four inches all around so guys this pattern i was just doing it to show you guys i <laughs> i wasn't really like making sure that it's all round although with all these flounces you don't have to make it to be perfect like it doesn't have to be perfect right in fact when it's not perfect it looks better to me <laughs> so but you can make sure that yours is perfect okay so you just make a round another cycle inside that circle that you made and i used four inches that's the width that i wanted to have so you see you take out the inner one 
the smallest one here and you have your flounce all you have to do you see and you cut out where you draw out your cycle you use a razor or your or your scissors then you fold your fabric into two and you place it can you see you use it and then you use your chalk or marker to mark it out on your fabric can you see yeah so i realized that in a hurry to show you guys the pattern for this i made a mistake here so i'm just going to fill it up like this you just use your silly tape and you know hold this down and then you have your perfect flounce you see and once you make this pattern you just keep your thing any other time you need to make a flounce you just put it back so you see i put it back and i corrected it yeah and i'm going to use my chalk to draw it out again so that it comes out perfect then i'm going to go in with my scissors you know and cut out what we have so you see this is our flounce can you see perfect so because of the fact that i wasn't really careful in drawing out the paper that's why you can see some places are a little bit bigger but it doesn't really matter honestly i like it like that so if you want yours to be the same with all true make sure you are careful when drafting at the pattern so this is where we are so far this is the front part of the dress can you see so i'm going to measure for uh, okay yeah sorry i remember that um, from the picture it has a little bit of curve can you see that is on the under bust there's a little bit of curve there and i don't know what's going on right now yeah but here i attached that little belt that we cut out and as you can see there are those ruffles or those um pleatings that i talked about yeah have you subscribed i hope you have okay and please share my videos with your friends that like sewing okay share my videos so that they too can have access to my content okay and then from the front or the middle of the dress i'm going to go out by four inches and mark it out like you are going to make your dart and then that's where you are going to start your stitch you stitch and stop there can you so you stitch from the back of your dress from the zipper area to that four inches that we marked so from that four inches which when you open it out to be eight inches right that is where your pleating will be and also can you see I hope you can see what i'm showing you guys this is that this is where the complication is honestly so where you marked at that four inches and that's where you are going to stop your stitcher right then you are going to um add your flounce there that is on the flare of the dress i'm going to show you in a bit what i'm talking about here i'm just showing you guys um I, i'm just i was just trying to be very detailed with this that's why so this is it i placed it on my dress form you see i used some pins to hold it together so you see i started my stitching from the back right i started attaching the flare to the upper bodies from the back from the zipper area to the front where i marked out the four inches you see and i stopped right there can you see so you see in the middle we have eight inches that is where we are going to do the pleating and then right there where i stopped that stitching i'm going to you see that's where you add your flounce so you are going to divide this into two like the flare you tear it down to the end and you add up your flounce and stitch it back together okay okay yeah here i'm just showing you again because i really wanted you guys to get what i'm saying so you see when you start your stitching you get to that place that you marked at your four you see yeah and i and if you look clearly you can see if you look closely you can see where i added my flounce right on the flare i just used my scissors and i divided it just you know tore through it till the end of the flare and then i added my flounce and stitched it back together okay yes so you see i'm just showing you guys what i did you see so you cut it from the beginning to the end you divide it into two then you add your flounce then do the pleating i hope <laughs> oh god it's a lot honestly but if you are following what i'm saying and what i'm doing in the video i i'm sure you will get what i'm saying you see so this is how it will look like okay honestly that's the only complication with this dress and here i'm still just showing you guys how it will look like on the inside 
and I also interlocked all the edges so that I don't have you know thread fraying around. Yes, and this is how I press. Like this dress was a hit. I absolutely loved, loved, loved how it came out. So please stay tuned on my channel. I promise you I have more content coming. Okay. I have more dresses, more gowns, more abayas coming through. Okay. Thank you for watching.